Hello, good morning. This is your host, June. Our topic for today is how to uh, configure input and output of this uh, Unity Pro. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time I will upload a new video, you will be notified. You can also open a new project. So after that, we're going to uh, choose our uh, PLC. Our PLC is, I will choose this one, uh, Moricon P34. Click OK. After that, we are going to click this uh, PLC box or uh, backplane. And uh, here's our uh, PLC. It's uh, set on uh, slot zero. So we're going to right click here and uh, open. So this is our uh, PLC bus. If we are going to add an input and output, we have two options. You can uh, you can double click here and it will pop out. Let's try it. You see it pop out. So we are going to choose a discrete input. I will choose this uh, uh, BMX1604. Click OK. So the other option is you can also choose here on a hardware uh, catalog, discrete input. So let's choose this one. Uh, drag and drop. But I like to double click here. It is easier. See, I will uh, do our uh, analog. Analog uh, input. And our analog output. So after that, so if you want to delete uh, this one, you can also delete by, uh, for example, if you're going to delete it, so it's delete now. So after that, we're going to put it back. That is, then okay. That's what I, so, and uh, analog uh, input, you, we can also uh, set a range. So if you are only using a two, you can uncheck this one. And uh, if we click here, we can choose uh, 4 to 20 milliampers. And we can also scale, so you know, whatever you want to do. So 0 to 10,000, so 0 to 100. So it's up to you. But uh, we're going to do that in the next uh, video. No? Okay. After that, uh, we're going to uh, build this project. Analyze and uh, build. Okay. And let's close this one because we already finished uh, getting all the hardware catalog. We're going to close this one. The next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to program under program task and we're going to click here mask section under section we are going to right click and new section you do you want confirm modification yes whatever uh, language we, you are going to use structured text uh, function block ladder ladder diagram so mostly is function block and uh, ladder diagram in this case we're going to use uh, ladder diagram in the next uh, in the future video we're going to do a fbd but for this one i will just use a ladder logic so we're going to use this uh, demo 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 uh, project Okay, and uh, okay, we can uh, double click. Okay, we are going to make a start stop circuit. So just do that one, another one, and escape. So after that, we're going to get a coil or output, put it here. Okay and escape 
a scape. We're going to use this vertical arrow for our branch. Scape, and we're going to drag this one here. Okay. And we're going to connect. Uh, right click, and you can also cut. Give a uh, address or variables with this one. We also have two options. The first option is uh, you can double click here, make a name. So for example, this one is uh, stop pb1. We're going to make this stop pb1. Okay, bool. The other option is variables and uh, FB instances. You can uh, right click this one and open. So our uh, the variable that we made bef before, so it's already here. So we can make a start. pb1 then uh, motor run okay after we make the variable or the address or the tag we go back to our uh, project demo here or if you get confused so you can also go here tools and uh, click this project browser it's the same so since we have here, it's already here, so no problem. So after that, double click here. So it pop out, click this uh, three dot. Then we are going to, to choose the start post button. Okay. Okay, then it's there. So uh, this one also, double click, click the, click the three dot, then the motor. And okay, so it's the same procedure. Motor, okay. So we we'll, we already build our uh, start stop circuit. Uh, we are going to add more uh, indication light. Uh, okay. We are going to build another one here. Okay, after that, escape. Uh, uh, we're gonna make this motor run. And we are going to uh, indication lights. Light, uh, okay. So, indication light ball, good. Okay, after that, you are going to build our project. After that, uh, build changes or rebuild all project. Okay, then uh, simulation mode because we don't have PLC. After that, uh, connect or you can also connect here. This is the same as uh, PLC connect. Okay, let's choose here. Connect. Okay. Then uh, after that, we go here. Transfer project to PLC. Uh, PLC run after transfer. Okay, good. Let's do that. Uh, 
after that confirm so now our plc is running because we see this uh, green power rail the stop button because this one's we're going to set to one okay after that the start button set value to one so it's running now okay we're gonna release the start uh, post button so now it's still running because the path of current is from a stop going to uh, our ceiling contact going to motor here latching or uh, auxiliary contact and lights are indicating light so if we are going to stop running the motor and stop the indicating light give here a value of zero then everything is off uh, i think that's it so see you on the next video uh, if you like this uh, video don't forget to subscribe and share in the next video i will do also a uh, video designer to design uh, to design a uh, hmi please continue to support my channel okay thank you for watching